I'm gonna try to go do kind of the same thing I did the previous time. It's not gonna work out as well, but it sh sometimes it doesn't always pan out. This should be really good damage though. Hey everybody, how's it going? Clipshots here, back with another Peglin Suggest. This one is again from Brutu. This is part two of that three-parter. This is the Spartan, where we have the uh, Sphere Orb, Swarb, we have the Round Guard, the super boots and the molten mantle so let's go ahead and get this rolling and see what we can do i know exactly what i'm going to be looking for as we progress through this but that being said um yeah we just did a bunch of damage oh my gosh he what oh my word okay so what's it called um our actual like we we really can't even upgrade i don't think we're going to be able to upgrade at all basically unless we get the right question marks now i am playing in crucible 10 that's why we have a stone um that being said let's see what we can grab i think i'm gonna go left in an attempt to grab the um in an attempt to grab the question mark down here and the and then that elite fight Oh, there we go. This is one of the few ways we're gonna be able to upgrade. Um, I think we wanna upgrade the ones that are gonna do the most damage because uh, that will help us live with eliminations more than anything. So I think that's what we're gonna be going for. There we go. And let's keep going. Anyways, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you guys aren't, hopefully it turns around for you. Every day is a new day. Not only that, but um, what's it called? What's it called? I don't know what it's called. Uh, if you guys haven't had any water today, I highly recommend it. Take a little sip of water, stay hydrated. That's what I, that's what it's called. That's what it's called, it's called hydration. Who knew, who knew of such a thing? Such a crime, such a crime. Alrighty, I don't know if we'll be able to get enough here, which is totally fine. We have a lot of stuff to go off of, so we can just kind of do this little number and dance and get a bunch of bombs. These bombs will be perfect for us. There we go. Two bombs, that kills basically everything, bingo. Basically, not not quite. Like I said, we are playing Crucible 10 just because I, you know, for starting with the Molten Mantle. The Molten Mantle, you no longer obtain coins, but you deal your shots damage every two, every, wait, 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 hold up. Did they change this again? Your shots current total damage is dealt to the targeted enemy every two time, every two coins you collect. Okay. I don't know why. I felt like they redid that. Maybe they did, and I'm just like registering it. I just can't remember what it was. There you go. Offer the stone. Perfect. Now we're back to where we should be in terms of builds in terms of the build um yeah and we should be good this should be pretty good too let's uh hope for the best here there you go that worked out pretty nicely we had quite a bit of damage quite a bit of damage there all right it's totally fine we can just do that again hopefully we get some of the relics that give us either coins back or give us more coins um on the stage because that would help us out so something like the uh, uh, Wand of Skultimate Greed or Wand of Ultimate Greed or whatever. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't hit this. I can't hit this last bomb. That's fine. Uh, what's it called? So yeah, if, uh, if we can, that would be ideal because what's going to end up happening is if we happen to manage to get that, what'll happen is we'll get a bunch, a bunch of damage. <laughs> we get a bunch, a bunch of damage, like, uh, kind of like we saw there. Let's go and get the popping corn just because uh, I feel like healing could be a problem. We're definitely going to go to the far left route there. But um, until then, let's go to the right here if we can. There you go. Full HP. We're ready for it. Then we'll duck, dodge, and weave to the left. Eye of Turtle sounds great to me. Down to the left we go. Alrighty. I don't mind getting a tactical treat. That wouldn't be too bad. Sand arrows wouldn't be too bad either. Uh, let's go kind of like rightward and see if maybe one of these two will end up getting. I'll say we'll let it gamble a little bit. Hopefully we can go deep left. Um, looks like we're going to go to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, duplicate all orbs. That's actually fine. I'm not like too opposed to that. Um, one of the things that's nice about that is it actually gives the possibility of getting other stuff. I want to go to the right now because I don't have any money. So to the right, it's going to be better. And then here we can upgrade an orb. Perfect. We can upgrade one of the sphere orbs. We still have that potential for other stuff. So it still works out really nicely. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to try to go do kind of the same thing I did the previous time. It's not going to work out as well, but it should still work out. There you go. It still worked out. Okay, short stack's gonna be insane because uh, if we happen to get the duplication potion, we'll just get tons of damage. 
and it's kind of what we have to bank on. Although Lucky Penny is a little bit more guaranteed for the time being. Oh man, it's you know it's, it's hard. It's definitely one of these two. These other ones aren't going to give us much damage because of the molten mantle. I think we definitely should go for the Lucky Penny. I think this is what it's going to have to be is Lucky Penny because like I said, it's just the amount of potential damage I can get is kind of through the roof. So we're going to go and skip this first orb, get that crit and he should probably die. Probably. Not guaranteed, but probably. Okay, he didn't die. That's totally fine. He'll probably die here though. Okay, I keep, I'm going to keep saying that because uh, it gets closer and closer each and every time. <laughs> there you go. Alrighty, skip on, skip on. Okay, um, none of these are exactly what I wanted, is what I'll tell you. I could easily go for something like Sealed Conviction because that's extra damage. Um, Defresh Potion would be insane, but that gets rid of my one and only Refresh, so that's just not happening. Gift wouldn't be horrible. It would actually be pretty awesome as well. Um, this could be really good, but decreasing our damage isn't really that good for the Molten Mantle. So I think we just go with the gift that keeps on giving. I think that's going to be just the best one. That or Sealed Conviction would have been. But I think because we're stopping ourselves from hitting pegs that have money on them in favor of uh, hitting more pegs, I think we're going to get a little bit more damage this way. Well, not exactly, but eh, it's okay-ish. Get that crit, thank you. Decent, decent. We definitely need the refill us off for stone. If we get the refill us off for stone, we will definitely be doing the kind of damage we kind of really want to be doing more than anything. Um, yeah, because we're a little bit lackluster in the damage department right now. There we go. Nice little crit. Hopefully we get some bombs. There we go, some coins. Beautiful. Bombs, coins, and all the goodies. There's another coin. We need one more coin, okay. Do that little number and dance and maybe we'll get a coin here. There is a coin, so we did a little bit. There we go, we got him. We got him, it was a little bit, a little bit rougher than I would've liked it to have been. Left seems really good. The question mark and then the item, guaranteed items right here, right? These are two guaranteed items. The right, it has two guaranteed duds and um, two question marks. Those question marks could be really good, but it's also more of a gamble. I think we just go left. Like I said, since we can't get any money, the shops are kind of useless. Uh, let's go ahead and definitely do this little number and dance. We're going to go for the guy in the back first. And see if maybe, hopefully, yep, we get him. And we got another guy. Beautiful. So at least we only get his damage, which isn't too bad. It's not, it's not favorable, per se, but it's not too bad. Could have been worse. There we go. Perfect. And we move on. Okay, <laughs> not exactly how I plan to move on, but we do. Okay, good. Um, let's go for the guys that kind of float around a little bit. We're just going to go straight on for one of these crits and hope for the best now. If we get really lucky on the next floor, we'll end up getting the, the coins. Sorry, the Wanda Ultimate Greed. If we're really lucky. If we're not really lucky, we won't get the Wanda Ultimate Greed, but eh. Sticks and stones, right? Sticks and stones. Let's keep going. If I can, I want to go to the right. I don't really care about the fights. I mean, they're all the fights are basically duds. So we had basically even amounts. Uh, let's go and fight this. This is definitely a fighting moment. And I definitely want to hit that crit to start us off with because that's going to be really big in getting our damage up. So at least we got rid of two guys there. Could have been worse. Could have been better though. Fingers crossed, there's another crit. Beautiful. And there's a lot of coins there, so it's easy damage. Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Snake it on through and do the damage. Bingo, bango, bongo. Let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? Um. Okay, I'm going to take it. Pocket sounds good. Not if you look at the grabby hand, because it's really just not worth it, to be completely honest. We'll go ahead and skip that one. We'll use the crit here. Okay, little bit of damage, not not the greatest. That's good though. That should be extremely beneficial. Yeah, he's toast. Nice, 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 nice. Eglinir's pendant um, contributes. Short stack is gonna be really good though. 
So we'll get to the short stack this time around. Um, I don't mind going to the middle. We have a chest, guaranteed chest down there on the right side. So I would like to go that way. Perfect. Okay, we're just gonna rat him out for a free relic. If you guys don't know, every time you rat him out, you are guaranteed to get this fight. Um, and yeah, that's a, that's a pretty awesome thing. I was hoping to get that crit, did not happen. That's right, he has 50 HP. He can still um, cause lots of trouble here. I'm gonna go skip that because that's just not worth. But this, however, totally is. That was a ton of damage and we kind of got rid of the, the potential to get a lot of other types of damage. Let's we'll see if we can kind of bounce it really well. No, no, we cannot. We cannot bounce it as well as I hoped we would be able to. Let's go ahead and bounce it back and hope we get that crit. There we go. And that was a ton of damage to boot. I should have gone after the guy in the far back. That's my mistake. That was really interesting. He had his shield up, but he died. Uh, I'm just going to put that out there. Like I said, very interesting. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that, how that happened, but I'm happy that it did. Um, I, they must have changed that at some point because in the past they used to never, they used to never be possible is what I'll tell you. It used to never be possible. Come on crits. Give me the crits. Give me the crits. All the crits, please. All the crits. There you go. Oh, come on. Come on, Grit. Okay, let's get a refresh. That refresh helps out a lot. And we got him too. Okay, that's good. That all pans out really nicely. Um, Prime for a uh, Rod of Frost is totally fine. But if I can, I'm going to get something that's going to give me damage more than anything. And that's definitely going to be the uh, bouncers contribute to damage. The bouncers are these little like pillars at the bottom. Um, the walls are anything on the sides or the top. The top is also considered a wall, I'm pretty sure. Or it might be considered a bouncer. I'm not really entirely positive. But um, it's weird that they have two items for this instead of just like walls and these. But... It is what it is. I'm going to get the inconspicuous ring. And we are going to go to the right if we can. Um, this is going to be a hard shot because it just doesn't really... It wasn't like a nice spot to go that way. Now I could have bounced it around and gotten some health, but this definitely works out better. Refillabuster is going to be nice. Not exactly perfect, but nicer than not. Let's see what the next item is. Okay, another special button. That sounds really good. Another crit on the board sounds delightful. I'm um, not... Guaranteed to get crits, so I am down to do that. Unironically, this actually would be fine because what you could do, right? What could happen potentially is let's say I grab this and I deal zero damage. Well, because of the molten mantle, I would be guaranteedly already dealing a bunch of damage, and so this only really has potential to increase my damage, and I can't really get hurt by it. I'm gonna gamble a little bit. We'll gamble some of our health away. Wait, what's, what's the final boss? These guys. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I didn't gamble too much health. I figured I'll just gamble a little bit and see what happens. I didn't mean to go forward, but you know how this game works sometimes. Yeah, those crits are just in horrible spots. Not really that opposed to it. Not that big of a deal. I'm only going to let this go back and then uh, mess up the timing. That's fine. We messed up the timing. It's all good. That was a lot of damage, and they should be... A little bit toast. <laughs> Let's see, right in here. There we go. Fingers crossed we get a lot of coins at that point. Nope. Go after your, uh, the guy in the far back here. This is our level two one, so this one does a little bit more. We'll wait for this to come back. There we go, perfect. Pretty much perfect. And they're all dead, nice. That's all I could really hope for. Nice, that was good health. I'm surprised that worked out. Okay. This is where things get really interesting because, well, if they're not in good spots, uh, we might not might not be good. There's the crit I was hoping for. That's going to be a good amount of damage. Not the most amazing, but a good nonetheless. I'm going to go after these crits. That's really unfortunate. That's one of the things that's really scary is sometimes it doesn't always pan out. This should be really good damage, though. We might be able to kill him here. Yeah, we were able to kill him. All right, there you go. And there's the one of Skultimate Greed, which is the best thing for this build because damage and stuff like all that's cool, but having more coins on the board is going to make it insanely more powerful. So we're going to take the one of Skultimate Greed and let's keep going. 
let's keep going there's some more items down there ready and waiting for us um this isn't as many as i kind of hope there would be but that's all good though not too big of a deal this really sucks as well it in the sense that cer certain situations we're not getting as much damage as we could have been because we don't have the crits in a viable spot so we're getting coins and not getting the uh, the damage we could be getting from the coins so this does show kind of like limitations of this build which is really interesting uh, at least when you build it this way obviously right uh, if you build it a different way it's a different situation there's the ambiguous amulet which would be good for this um i wouldn't mind the refresh shield but i don't really reload that much the one i want the least is the middle one but it looks like that's what i'm gonna get <laughs> i'll take it uh it doesn't matter too much i'm gonna go to the right this does matter the rest of it didn't matter too much this does matter though because well uh, if I didn't go this way, then I would have been kind of locked out. Let's definitely go for this. Let's see if we can just kind of like sink it in here. Fingers crossed we get that crit. There you go. Perfect. Super toast. And we're on our way. If I can, I want to go to the right. Try to sink it in there. There you go. Tons of HP if I didn't have it, but I did. So not too big of a deal. Alrighty. I think I can get that crit there. Let's see if I can bounce it right up into that crit. It did not happen. A sob story but now there's a lot of crits really in my face and it still did not happen i was trying to uh trying to be a little bit too uh precarious i guess this is going to be really interesting um definitely not good by any means or stretch of the imagination that wasn't bad though that was a pretty good throw it's really scary when they're really like when they're right up in your face okay at least we'll get damage from this even if it's a little bit there you go. Glad he's missing. Just not glad that I'm not dealing more than I could be. There you go. That was good. That was good. I'm surprised he doesn't have 40. You heard the noise of him attacking twice. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know how that works. There you go. This is easily a fight I could have died in. Died in. So I'm glad I'm not going to die in it. At least it doesn't appear that I'm going to. Even if we do very poor damage like we just did. It doesn't appear like I'm going to die. There you go. That's some damage. He's really close. We actually might still die, actually. Like, there's a there's that possibility. That very distinct possibility. We're going to skip that. Uh, let's see if we can, like, kind of squeeze it in over there. No, it didn't work. I guess I could have guaranteed some damage, but it's all good. There we go. We got him. Oh my gosh. That was way more of a pain in the butt than it could have been. Alrighty. This actually could balance out our damage. We're not really doing it for um, the crits per se. I mean, we're all doing it for the crits, but we're not necessarily doing it just for the crits. We're doing it for kind of a little bit of everything. This could give us a lot of damage. Um, I don't know if the echo damage contributes to uh, the molten mantle because technically it says all attacks have echo and so echo says echo deals x damage of the previous attack is bonus damage I don't know if bonus damage cons is considered um, orb damage I think we'll test it out just to see so let's give that a shot and see what happens I want to go left here if I can but I also want to get a lot of health so if I can, I'm going to try to, just going to hope to hit a lot of pegs there. Didn't, didn't really work out. This is evil Haglin. Let's go and upgrade this orb. Actually, we'll just upgrade this one all the way. Having one upgraded all the way, kind of a little bit better. Let's go left here. Fingers crossed. We get something good. That's unfortunately we lost some health there, but not the end of the world. Ooh, enhanced gunpowder. That's really good. Since we don't really have a direction we need to go to, because technically either way we go to here can lead us down this left path, which is definitely what we want. Um, let's go ahead and just try to gamble it and see if we can maybe get an extra extra item like we just did. Perfect. Um, ask me anything. That's really good. Rallying heart's not bad, but I'm never going to be able to use it because I can't actually heal post battle. So ask me anything it is. To the right we go. I want the question mark because question mark could be something good. Or it could be this where I get really close to dying. Um... Well, 
I need to guarantee I go here. The fight could be fine. This honestly just keeps getting scarier and scarier. Pumpkin pie could be really good. So you're gonna do pumpkin pie. I thought I got health from those. Looks like I don't though. That's okay. Um, this one does do full damage. And this wouldn't be a bad one to do full damage with. So let's go and do this. Fingers crossed we get that crit. There we go. That's exactly why I wasn't too worried about it because that one did do good damage along the way. There you go. It is a little bit scary because those red bombs can deal a lot of damage to us, which means we can take a lot of damage. But I do have the popping corn, which I totally forgot about, which kind of makes up for all this just a little bit. I think I have to skip this one in favor of this because I needed something that was going to give me guaranteed damage. Oh, man. Okay, well, at least we got the danger close guy first. There we go. Perfect. Not bad. And we still have uh, coins that we can hit here. So we're going to try to just bounce around a little bit. There you go. That's like a full HP heal. Alrighty. Another one of these fights. I mean, good news, bad news. At least we're starting off a little bit stronger this time. A little bit more damage. Bad news is that refresh is in a horrible spot. We do have a tactical treat though, so it could hopefully get closer. Oh, this isn't too bad. If, it, if we accidentally fall down, we can totally do that. There we go. That was a pretty good, pretty stonky hit. Right there. Dang. Not going our way, eh? We'll just do that. Even though this is just minute damage. We'll get what we can. Now this will fall and yeah, probably just go straight away. Yeah, this stage kind of punishes you, period. So, very not amazing. Ooh, that's good. That's good. We still hit him for a lot, even though we blundered a lot. Okay. There you go. He has 60% chance to miss. So, that's really good. Really good for us. Okay, he's almost dead. I think we can get him... Almost regardless of what we do. Almost regardless. Oh, thank goodness we got him. That was uh, that was getting painful. Okay, Crystalmos Fleece has a lot of potential here. Especially because of how we have the board. Um, I wouldn't mind a peg bag, though. Powder Collector wouldn't be horrible. Because um, in conjunction with Enhanced Gunpowder, not horrible. I'm going to go for the Crystalmos Fleece, though. It has the most potential. So we'll go for that and hope that everything pans out. Let's see if we get a bunch of health here. Ooh, come on, give me a bunch of health. That's good enough for me. That was that was quite a bit of health. It wasn't the most health, but it was definitely quite a bit. We're gonna skip that because that won't do anything for us. If I could skip again, I would. Um, so I can't. I'm just gonna try to not get too many coins by going straight down-ish. Okay, well, not great, but not horrible. Yeah, that's about that's about what I felt it was going to be. Alrighty, we definitely want to guarantee a crit here. At bare minimum, we're going to do a lot of damage to this guy. Okay, that's a, that's a good one to start us off with. There you go. A little bit of damage across the board. This is great. There we go. There we go. Now we actually did some damage. Yeah, this one's a little bit strange. Sometimes we get a little bit stuck and can't do as much damage as we would like to and it's other times we get good damage and can actually do something uh, let's see if we can maybe get some good health yeah that was good health that was very good health all right another relic here gonna go skip that guy and do this little number and dance beautiful oh nice that's majestic majestic thank you oh yeah we got him that was phenomenal. Um, okay, this is where things get really interesting. Salt Shaker would have been great because extra health, but it's literally useless as it currently is. Weaponized Envy is kind of iffy. Refreshive is kind of iffy. Refresher course, I mean, it could increase our damage. And before, we didn't have the Kutsalmos Fleece, so I say the Refresher course is probably the best. Refreshing the board whenever you defeat an enemy is nice, but... I think the refresher course is the best. 
So we're gonna go for that. Uh, let's see if we can get some health here. Fingers crossed. Oh, look, we actually gained the health even if we, okay. I thought we only got the health if we actually went through the board. Oh my gosh, that makes life so much better, like 50 times better. Okay, we skip that. I'm gonna go deep left here. I know we can. There we go. I was hoping to get something a little bit spicier. Didn't quite pan out. Didn't quite pan out the way I, I would have liked it to have. Um, definitely straight down here because with that potential. Oof. Okay, nothing good. Nothing good is what I see. There we go. That should be should be really solid. Yeah. Very solid. Wow. Wow. There you go. Yikes. Yikes. Always could be better, eh? Always could be better. Let's see if we can deep uh, send it real deep over there. Oh, not quite. Not quite. That's okay. We still can get healed. We're not getting healed as much as I would like to be getting healed. And yeah, that's just kind of all in bad spots. Let's see if that refresh goes somewhere I, I can grab it. Doesn't really look like it's doing me any favors. Um, yeah, not the most amazing throws here. This is a little bit slow. There you go. At least this is finally in a good spot. Except it's not in a good spot. It's in a bad spot. Okay, we're just going to launch it. We'll be fine. Whatever happens, it will be fine. I'm just going to keep launching it. Fluff the world. There you go. Launch it to infinity and beyond. Eventually, we'll get it. Eventually. There you go. There you go. It just took a million years. Okay. Almost full HP going into this last fight. Now, this last fight can be extremely, extremely scary because we have all these guys to deal with. But what ends up happening is we don't actually have that much to go for. So when you go after this guy here, I'll try to guarantee we get one guy taken care of. That's a perfect crit for us. And this little tile coming up. So let's see if we can uh so we can go after that crit there. There you go. Perfect. We might oh wow. Yeah, I just we fell out of it like instantly. Okay, we're gonna go after the next best crit, which is right there again. Um, hope for the best. There you go. Double crits. That's really, really good. Hopefully we can just survive for a little bit here. There we go. The whole board is taken care of just like that. You can turn it around. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. And I'll catch you guys next one. Peace out, everybody. And adios.